Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I wanted to basically give an update and bring your attention to a set that's had its status changed to sold out, well, on Lego Shop at Home in the UK at least anyway. Now why is this exciting? Well, traditionally once sets have their status changed to sold out, it means Lego isn't producing them anymore and this directly links with availability of the set. Because if LEGO isn't producing the set anymore, they're not going to be sending the set to retailers and therefore once those retailers sell out of the set, they're not going to get a restock and ultimately the set is going to become very scarce. So, so this provides an opportunity for us as LEGO investors to get the set just before it reaches end of life or if you're a collector and you want to get this set just before it disappears entirely. So taking that into account, let's reveal the set. Set number 75283, it's the Armoured Assault Tank. Now this set retails at $34.99 in the UK and $39.99 in the US. It comes with four minifigures. It comes with Battle Droid, AAT Driver Battle Droid, Ahsoka Tano and Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. Now Ahsoka Tano is exclusive to this set alongside the Jewel on Mandalore set. And the only exclusive minifigure to this set is the Ahsoka Clone Trooper. Trooper. This set was released last August and as I said it was scheduled to retire at the end of this year but as I've just pointed out it's already listed as sold out in the UK which basically means it was only available at Lego for less than 12 months so for a Star Wars set that's pretty good so taking all this into consideration it raises the question should we invest in this set because the opportunity to do so is reducing so i will explore that now so we should consider that the armored assault tank is a vehicle that lego have produced many times now what i'm going to show on screen for you now is four different ones that they produced throughout the last 20 years and i'm going to show you what your return on investment would be if you paid the retail price when they were first released and if you sold them now so as you can see, these um, sets have you know, performed really well, so some really high return on investments there, especially with the one that came out like 20 years ago. But obviously we've got to take into account that it's very difficult to find a brand new LEGO Star Wars sealed set that retired 20 years ago, so that's why that return on investment percentage is so high. But generally, looking at those four, you can see that the Armored Assault Tanks generally favour positively as a in LEGO investment set. So we should take this as a positive when considering should we invest in this AAT we you know right now. In addition, we want to make sure that Lego sets that we're investing in today stay relevant in months or years to come. And we can kind of measure this by looking at is there any future multimedia that's coming out to in maintain the relevancy of the sets we're investing in today. Now I've touched on this and there is an Ahsoka Tano series coming out next year. So we know, you know, Ahsoka's going to stay relevant and hopefully more popular if the TV show is a success. However, we should also look at the fact that their recent Obi-Wan TV series came out and there were Lego sets released alongside that TV series. We can expect the same with the Ahsoka Tano TV series, so we can you know, expect there might be Ahsoka Tano being produced in new Lego sets, so therefore people might not have to buy these sets that are retiring to get Ahsoka, but you know, it's still favorable that this TV series is coming out. So overall, I think it's a plus. So there we go, that's a summary of this set. Now, if are you gonna buy this set? If you are, your time is, is running out, like in the UK right now. It's not available on Amazon, it's not available on John Lewis, it's available in Smith's Toys, and only a handful of other retailers like Ferry, so act fast if you want it. I think it's a good set, I think it's an okay price point, I think it partners the Republic um, Tank Fighter that came out with Mace Windu this year really well. Um, I think you actually get more minifigures in that set, but there's more pieces in, in this set, but I think the other one looks better value. But anyway, I am going to buy this set, hence I've got this one, and I do have a few more, and I will hopefully try and pick up a few more if it we can get a decent sale on it but um so yeah there you go i hope you enjoyed the video and as always if you got value out of it please give it a like and i'll see you soon bye guys